Alone in my sorrow and dead in my sin Lost without hope with no place to begin Your love made a way to let mercy come in When death was arrested and my life began Ash was redeemed, only beauty remains My orphan heart was given a name My morning grew quiet, my feet rose to dance When death was arrested and my life began Oh, your grace so free Washes over me You have made me new Now life begins with you It's your endless love Pouring down on us You have made us new Now life begins with you Released from my chains, I'm a prisoner no more My shame was a ransom, he faithfully bore He canceled my debt and he called me his friend When death was arrested and my life began Oh, your grace so free washes over me Sing your grace. Oh, your grace so free washes over me. You have made me new now. Life begins with you. It's your endless love pouring down on us. You have made us new now. Our Savior displayed on a criminal's cross Darkness rejoices though heaven had lost But then Jesus rose with our freedom in That's when death was arrested and my life began I sing that our Savior Darkness rejoices the heaven and lies. But then Jesus arose with a freedom in it. That's when death was arrested and my life began. Sing, we're free. Oh, we're free, free, forever we're free. Come join the song of all the redeemed. Washes over me. You have made me new. Now life begins with you. Sing that your endless love. 
It's your endless love Pouring down on us You have made us new Now life begins with you Sing that your grace. Oh, your grace so free washes over me. You have made me new. Now life begins with you. It's your endless love pouring down on us. You have made us new, now life begins with you. Sing that, you have made us new. You have made us new, now life begins with you. Let's declare that this morning. You have made us new, now life begins with you. You have made us new, now life begins with you. That's our declaration today. You have made us new, now life begins with you. There's a new life. There's a new hope. There's a new faith. Life begins with you, God. made us new now life begins with you that's our prayer you have made us new now life begins with you all the old things have passed death has passed darkness is gone we're in the shadow of your wing lord have new life with you, new grace, a new hope. Sing your grace. Oh, your grace so free washes over me. You have made a new now life begins with you. It's your end. I was just thinking of those lyrics. We put the lyrics back up. It says where death was arrested and my life began. <laughs> you know, God draws you to different parts of, of his heart in different moments. And, and I was actually just reminded, uh, surprised to some of you, but I've been arrested before. <laughs> Literally. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like I, I've actually, <laughs> when death was arrested and my life began, go to the verse before this. We're free, free forever, amen, when death was arrested and my life began is when Christ Jesus, King of the earth, creator of all things, willingly submitted himself to take the penalty of all humanity's brokenness and said, I'll take it. That's when death was arrested, put in handcuffs eternally, and our lives truly began in Jesus. Isn't that amazing? And, and I just, that, that word just kind of hit me this morning. I sing it, I've, 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 I've sang this song enough times where I, I've just kind of glossed over that. Death is eternally put in handcuffs and behind bars and can never come out again because of Jesus Christ. 
And the offering that Jesus gives is that all who come to me will have life and have life abundant and eternal. Death has been arrested <laughs> and new life begins in Jesus. So as we continue to worship this morning, I'm just really, I'm so humbled to think, God, I know, I know what it's like to be unable to get out of where you're at. That's what Jesus did to death. That's what he did to sin. And so, Father, this morning, we just say thank you for arresting death in Jesus. And that, God, our privilege this morning is to worship you, is to adore you, Holy Spirit, to just be satisfied in your presence. As we continue to sing, as we continue to hear from you, God, may you be the one leading our hearts in this moment. Jesus, we've come to worship you. We've come to meet you. And thank you, God, the great, great king who arrested death, that our new lives might be lived out.
I'm surrounded by you It may look like I'm surrounded But I'm surrounded by you It may look like I'm surrounded But I'm surrounded by you It may look like I'm surrounded But I'm surrounded by you It may look like I'm surrounded But I'm surrounded by you
um, talks to me a lot about the sparrows. And yesterday morning, he woke me up, reminding me about the sparrows. And um, actually, the song, His Eye is on the Sparrow, and, the eye, and His Eye is on You, has come from a couple that lived here in Elmira, Mr. and Mrs. Doolittle, who were handicapped. They had disability, and they were always cheerful. So that song came from Elmira. And uh, what he's saying to me today is, Sparrows, I see you. I see when you fall to the ground. You're worthy of me, and you're worthy of my blood.
forsaken. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. Come, Holy Spirit, dry bones awaken. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. For a minute was I forsaken The Lord is in this place The Lord is in this place And come on the Spirit And dry bones awaken The Lord is in this place And not for a minute was I forsaken the Lord is in this place the Lord is in this place and come Holy Spirit drop on to awaken the Lord is in this place the Lord is in this place not enough Unless you come, we meet here again. Cause all I want is all you are. Will you meet here again? And I for a minute was I forsaken. Forsaken, the Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. And come, Holy Spirit, drop us awaken. Awaken our hearts, God. Through it. 
Touches of your love will always be enough, and nothing compares to your embrace. Light of the world forever ends, and oh, I'm running to your arms. I'm running to your arms. The riches of your love will always be enough, and nothing compares to your embrace. Light of the world forever
forsaken Lord is in this place Lord is in this place and Come on, Spirit Drop on to awaken You have never been forsaken you have never been forgotten. The Lord is here. The Lord is present. He's holding you. His arms are open towards you. Some of us in this house this morning need to say, dry bones, awaken. I feel like there's, there's something when we're actually registering our, our spirits with the Father's heart to say the things in my life where it, the dry bones seem to be the, the greatest evidence of what's happening, God's giving permission to say, awaken. And in my own heart, I was reminded of just the things that I, I continue to believe God for in my own life. I continue to believe Jesus in his greatness and his mercy and kindness and the promise that his heart is that all humanity would be restored back to him. And so I think of his abundance in the people that I love and the people that I know and the city that I live in, the home that I live in and the marriage that he's given me. And I speak to the places this morning and I just want to give us a space for the next minute or two minutes to speak and be reminded of the dry bones and speak to the dry bones that we see in our lives and in the authority of Jesus to continue to prophesy to say, awaken. It's in my home and it starts with me and my wife first and I'm saying dry bones awaken where love has grown cold in my own heart where I have not learned the way of Christ and how to love my wife. I'm speaking to my own self. I'm saying dry bones awaken. It, it's not about all out there first. Holy Spirit starts inside the temple he lives in, which is right here. And so I'm saying, God, dry, dry bones awaken. The things, God, where the things that just catch me up, that I point at my wife and I blame her for these different things, God, I'm not interested in it anymore. Father, I'm not interested in being caught in lies and deception that, that keep me from the beauty of the covenant you've given to my own wife and I. That Jesus, you paid a great price for. Some marriages in here, you need to say, dry bones awaken. Dry bones awaken, God. It's family members that we continue to believe God for and we're saying in the name of Jesus, dry bones awaken. The, the prophet Ezekiel was given this word from the Lord and that's where this, these words come from about dry bones. This would be familiar to some in Ezekiel chapter 37 in, in scripture. It says, the hand of the Lord was on me, the prophet Ezekiel, and he brought me out, of, out by the spirit of the Lord and set me in the middle of a valley and it was full of bones. He led me back and forth among them, and I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley, bones that were very dry. He asked me, God said, son of man, can these bones live? I said, sovereign Lord, you alone know. Then God said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you, and you will come to life. I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you, and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. So this morning, I just feel like we need some space to be really focused on the places that the Holy Spirit is saying, speak to the dry bones and prophesy there will be flesh on that thing again so god we just welcome you to lead our hearts even as we pray as we minister with faith and confidence from your heart to the thing that you said you long to restore so we just speak and i welcome you speak out loud as you are reminded of what it is just begin speaking out loud faith isn't a quiet thing 
Faith isn't a quiet thing. So as he's reminding you what to prophesy for, just be faithful and bold to speak it out. Don't think it in your mind. Prophesying is with our mouth. So let's speak. Just whatever that is, you just begin speaking and praying over that thing and contending for it again. timid don't be timid I'm just pushing you a little bit this morning prophesy over those things don't be quiet don't be quiet I'm not telling you to yell I'm just encouraging you to not be quiet about that thing this morning don't be embarrassed about someone hearing what you're prophesying over this morning it's not about them it's not about people hearing what you're prophesying over the enemy has kept you in isolation because you believe that it's embarrassing to prophesy over the thing he promised he would do. Just speak it. Prophesy this morning. Father, fill us with faith and boldness this morning. It's not about the way I do it. It's about your heart. Just release us into your heart, God. Release us into your heart, Jesus. You speak to dry bones, God. Father, we thank you for the privilege of speaking your word and believing your heart, the truth, God, of who you are. And Jesus, this morning, as we're reminded of, of our calling into a place of lived out faith, and I think even this morning, just that push I had in my own heart, I, I believe God was to actually just invite some people. I think it's one thing, God, I know that I often find myself groaning in secret for the things that I'm believing you for. I'm groaning in my heart and wrestling and contending, Jesus, and I'm in prayer and I'm in worship. But God, there's something when we come together as a house, as a family, and we begin doing that together. It's called the church. The church, God, made up of people on a journey discovering the beauty and the wonder and majesty of Jesus called out by you, God, for your own purposes. So God, thank you this morning for the privilege of speaking your heart over the things, God, that you said you longed to see and do, and that you've invited us to partner with you in doing them. So Jesus, as you have stirred up our faith, God, I thank you for the privilege again of being here together. And for all these things, God, that we have spoken out, Father, the things we are, I'm sure many continuing to pray for and have been praying for maybe for days, weeks, months, or years. God, this morning, I'm just thankful, Father. I think of the things that I'm praying for and believing for that are 20 years plus in the making. And I'm saying, God, this morning, I'm not gonna relent. Father, thank you for a spirit of long suffering here. God, the grace for long suffering. Thank you, Jesus. As we fix our eyes on you, we are reminded your promises, God, are yes in Christ, and we speak the amen. So, Father, we do love you, 
and we welcome you to continue speaking this morning, Jesus. Stay here, Holy Spirit. Stir our hearts. Stir our hearts, God. We give you this space to do whatever you want with it. Don't let us take away from you, Father. We just say, do what you will. Have your glory, God, in this place. And it's in Jesus' name we came, whether we knew it or not. It's in Jesus' name we've been spoken to. And it's in Jesus' name we are praying right now. If you agree with me, you can go and say amen. Amen, amen, amen.